Well, hello and welcome back to Jimmerism Total Nerd Channel. We are here in Stormade for a little ship review. This ship is built by a builder we haven't seen before. No, this is Broken Gauge, who's built the Rhodesian class frigid. It looks uh, like a combination of a very traditional spacecraft and a more naval type inspired craft with the bridge on top command command bridge on top of the ship we have some pretty neatly detailed weapons and uh, we also have some symbols and details well the ship is uh, kind of classic in shape um, but also a little unique in in the way that uh, like um, it's somewhere again in in the country of being blocky and being smooth-ish. It has like uh, straight-ish lines, but are also kind of jagged. Well, in any case, we'll take a little closer look at this ship. Um, I think that in the front of the ship, something is missing. It would be interesting to either have some, some windows and uh, living quarters or something sticking up there. Having a transmission, a uh, radar, something, some detail or some gun, something. I think would be nice to have there. Um, well, also here we can see the grey part and the grey part meet in a very sharp edge. Um, I think that could be improved as well. Um, these blue little cells here um, is a very interesting and uh, new addition i haven't seen uh, like big crew windows like this it looks kind of cozy and it will be interesting to uh, see uh, how the inside looks uh, because uh, truth be told um, what kind of sold me on this ship was the pictures of the interior and uh, not the exterior in first hand oh well this is a little bit interesting if we see here we can see we have like displaced blocks all around. We'll see how that light effect uh, is created. But it kind of looks... Um, yeah, that's new. It's a pretty interesting look though, I must say. And here we have a wireless control. That's weird. Oh well. Let's take a little look on this ship. Also, today we have some special music we don't usually have. This is the album Soranin by Mer, who uh, kindly enough uh, lets us use um, the music um, for free, just if we tell who the music is from. So there you know, Mer Soranin. Alright, manual control, close airlock's door. So, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, we were uh, getting into gravity there, okay? So we can cycle the airlock there, like manually. And well... Hmm, that's interesting. Oh well. Okay, so here we can go down. We seem to have uh, two stars leading to the same pathway. And here we have no data. Oh no. Well. Oh, we have some blinky lights. That's always nice. Some star keys or some, <clears throat> I don't know, ladders or in the type of command center. Uh, pretty plain, like halfway through. Ah, this is a nice tube in the corridor, um, which adds to the like nice feeling of the place. And here we have a button that apparently launches 
a little spacecraft thing. A smaller additional ship that uh, seems to be... Uh, or no, it's just extended. Okay, we can put it there and then we probably have to uh, release it ourselves. <clears throat> Here we also have a wireless signal. I don't know what that is. Is it connected? No. Let's just not mess with that then. Well, that was a nice little interesting pathway up again. It uh, makes for an interesting little labyrinth, or not really. Mm -hmm. And it's good to have two walkways to the same place. It's safer that way. Oh, here's the same. Are these like outer doors? Oh, they're automatic doors. Yes, they close automatically. Anyhow, here we can go out to the craft. And we have some machinery here too. But, ooh, so this is basically a little, you know, cargo thing pick up. I mean, we can walk up here. I'm not exactly sure how we're supposed to get in. Oh, here we go. Oh, well. Looks decent enough. It has its own gravity. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, lords. This is kind of dangerous. <laughs> It's very dangerous, but it looks uh, it looks interesting. It's like an actual car. It's like very wide. Oh well. Oh wait, is this really? Is this the way? The way? Do you know the way? That's an old meme. Anyways, we'll just uh, back go back in this interior so yeah um, I'd say the exterior of this ship is pretty decent don't get me wrong but uh, it's not extraordinary the interior though is uh, pretty nice it's yeah as said we're looking on this ship uh, mostly because of the interior which I think is uh, kind of sleek but also interesting um, I don't know something it's hard to pin down, but uh, something with this interior makes the ship feel kind of realistic and uh, organic, which is nice. I think it's because we have so many levels, we have so much up and down, which makes, yeah, it makes for a great space. Here we have a food court with water and weird foods. Oh well. Anyhow. Let's move on. Here I think we have the personal quarters. No, this is... Oh yeah, it is. You can barely fit in here, but man, this view is pretty nice. Yeah, that's great. Let's see if... Uh, whoa. It's the same type. Let's see what's uh, down... Oh, is this a... Oh yeah, this is a bathroom thing. That's cool. A little dark dungeon with bathrooms. But anyways, I kind of like these. It's pretty nice having these, uh, this nice view here. It's a really nice design. Um, I will suppose it's original. I haven't seen that design before. But I really like this kind of diagonal entrances. And then you can just go up diagonally like this and you have a bed there. It's like... It feels pretty luxury even though it's not very much space. Which is, you know, nice. It's like a premium battleship or something. In any case... Uh, oh god, let's just check this little door. Oh god, here we have logic stuff. I think we'll mess something up if we <laughs> mess too much with that. And again, we have two entrances to the same place, which is good because uh, it. I think I think that's kind of adds to the realistic feel. Some places are just labyrinth, but this has two ways to most spaces, which feels more realistic. Just because it, you know, if you need to shut down one door, 
you can do that and you can still go where you need. It's like fail safe. Oh well. And here this is kind of weird. So I mean the doors seem to be closing automatically. But it don't seem to be opening mo- I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. I think they close automatically, but they open manually. Well, I, I guess that's a nice solution. More bathrooms. Never seen a pair of breasts before. One second. Wow. Yeah, it's just that one song on Mer Solanin's album. That's, uh, it's called Interlude, by the way. Anyhow, um, which you kind of have to skip when you, you know, listen to the album kind of publicly. Anyhow, um, so let's move on. Okay, here we have uh, a nice little stir up. Oh, and I think one thing that also adds to the nice feeling of the interior, um, even though we don't have like, we, we have enough detail, sure, but we don't have like enormous amounts of details. Um, but I think it's because we have different colored lights, which makes it feel much more organic and uh, yeah, decent. Like many people just put a lot of white lights there and it just ends up being kind of boring. But uh, well, this author really knows how to work with light colors of light, which Star Made Engine does very well. I don't know what that is. Um, sometimes it's loading error. But uh, it's a little bit sad that all the uh, <laughs> all the screens has no data. Could be a nice to have something there. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, this is a, this is a bug. It won't let me go down the stairs. <laughs> Alright, so that's probably that was probably the kind of captain's quarters or something like that. Now I wonder what this is. Oh shit. Okay, it's some reactor stuff. Okay, then I guess we are in the command bridge thing. We have some logic there, which is nice. Well, looks like a pretty decent command bridge. Uh, we do, however, have this huge white uh, screen there. We have a random button. Can be nice if buttons. Oh, we have different moods. Okay. Green. I don't know. It's nice if buttons are labeled. Okay, so if we cycle through the cameras. Oh, this camera is not good. It's like inside the ship. Um, okay, we have a side uh, starboard and barboard cameras. Then we have, yeah, this is the front camera. It's also kind of, you get stuff in your face. Yeah, I think the camera placements really needs to be a little bit improved. Um, they are too much behind stuff. I mean, I, I get you want to hide them maybe, but uh, just, you know, have them between, just behind like one block or something and you'll not mess up the view. And you can also set the views now in Starmy, by the way. I don't know how reliable that is because I haven't used it so much myself, uh, but it's possible and uh, yeah. Yeah, but the engine is kind of covered with stuff, but it uh, it gives a nice glow with all the... Even though it's like uh, these junk blocks in the way, it uh, hides the worst, uh, you know, standard thruster feeling. It kind of feels a little bit more classic chemical rocket when doing this, but it still gives off a nice glow. Uh, considering we have the, that type of design, I think uh, an orange glow could be kind of cool though. Uh, which is done by connecting up the uh, ship core. We can actually do that now, just to show you. We can connect up the ship core to any color of light we want. So let's say I wanted to change it to orange. I don't know if we have any orange. I think this is orange. We connect it like that. And now we have orange glowing thrusters like that. Yes, I like that. Anyhow, maybe red would be better. But uh, that's... Uh, 
aside from the point. Okay, so this ship, not super fast acceleration, not super slow, seems to have some pretty, pretty good speed though. Um, we are going to straighten up this ship a little bit. So we can stand still, just like that. Um, we have turret control. Oh, really? Logic loop protection. Hmm. So I think the idea was to be able to toggle the uh, the uh, turrets control if they would be active or not, on or off. Maybe switch between um, AI and uh, turrets uh, or AI control and uh, player control. Um, seems that in my load it uh, don't work. Can be that an update broke it. Can be it never worked, or can be it just you know broke. I don't know, but um, I guess it's a cool idea. I haven't tried that myself, so I can't say if it's possible or not. But um, well, maybe it can be fixed if it worked before. Uh, would be a nice feature to have. Um, well. And with that, I think we kind of covered this uh, little ship here. Um, we can check a little more for uh, additional systems though. And here we have that one. Oh, it has a decent amount of cargo in it though, which is nice. <laughs> I kind of like the design of this car. Yeah, this is a nice car. A nice huge car. I mean, you know, one block, one meter. It's like uh, seven meters wide. And anyway, it's more nine, nine meters. Oh. Anyhow. Uh, the turrets, by the way, I think they are... Uh, they seem to have rather smallish weapon systems, but not super small. Uh, so they're probably more for show than actual damage. Uh, the dockers are hidden quite deep into this portion of the ship, um, which does make it much more um, like sturdy. Maybe would even have to, you know, cover those closest block to it with armor too. But um, they are well designed. They are designed to not break basically which is nice to see all right yeah and uh, that's that was the captain's quarters yeah and what do we have here oh no okay this classical bridge is just for show kind of makes me a little bit sad uh, but uh, well well Designer's choice. Here we have the like real bridge hidden a little bit more deeply inside, but uh, I kind of like to have you know visible windows. Uh, oh god, uh, when when having ships, just because. Uh, there we go. Here we can see um, reactor stabilizers. We have there. We have reactors. They're kind of close to the stabilizer, I think. It would be smarter to have the stabilizers in the front of the ship. Uh, oh well. We have shields somewhere. Anyhow. All in all, uh, nice ship. Could have some smaller improvements. Um, and well, that's that. I'd say it's a nice job and it seems to be um, uh, alright systems. Let's see. Oh yeah, we have we have actually a missile here. Let's just hook that up. Forget to check the system, sir. And it's not included. It doesn't have a jump drive. I think this ship would probably want a jump drive. 
yeah, so we could definitely see some improvements on like the systems. Uh, we can shoot uh, missiles. All right. Four of one. You know the the missile count system and the missile um, like capacity is kind of weird. I don't totally get that, but I mean the missile seems to be working pretty well. They are lock-on missiles, yep, and uh, pretty big system, so that will deal some damage. Uh, the turrets I don't really know about, and uh, I mean uh, systems like uh, turrets or like, mi missiles. I mean they're so strong now, uh, but um, I think it would be nice to have you know at least one AMS turret maybe to shoot down some. Uh, some some missiles at least uh, but yeah anyhow um, I'd say this is a um, like decent exterior ship um, it it works it works um, turrets seem to have some problems but uh, the main missile system it's it's a good combo and it's uh, it's a considerable size so it will do some damage uh, the, the best points of this ship is however not exterior or systems, um, it is the interior design and um, I think the author has made a very good job with making light sources and using different colored lights to make it feel very organic and kind of, uh, kind of realistic, kind of a ship you could definitely hang out on. Basically, it feels like a it's, it feels like a solid ship when walking around inside it. It's very yeah. That probably sums it up very well. So with that, I will say thanks a lot for watching this Jimmyism Total Nerdy Channel. Officially signing out from today's Starmade video and map review. No ship review. Oh god, I mixed stuff up. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed it. See you around. Jimodism Total Nerdy Channel will be uploading eagerly. Until next time, bye bye.